big money donors are getting ready to open their wallets even wider today. John Roberts Supreme Court now says it's okay. The Supreme Court is doubling down on its controversial Citizens United decision, ruling in favor of Sean McCutcheon, an Alabama businessman who argues he should be able to contribute as much campaign cash as he wants to whomever he wants. Justice Roberts agrees, calling it free speech. He wrote, there is no right more basic in our democracy than the right to participate in electing our political leaders. But remember this former president and the scandal that brought him down? Beginning with the post-Watergate era in 1974, through McCain Fi all the way through McCain-Feingold in the early 2000s, campaign finance reforms were put in place to try and put checks on the influence of big money in politics. Now, for a while, that might have worked, but over the last 12 years, big money has gradually made a comeback. 2012 was the most expensive election season in U.S. history. The Center for Responsive Politics estimates $6 billion was spent in total with outside groups contributing as much as a billion dollars and according to the Sunlight Foundation just 1,200 individuals spent 155 million dollars of that total. Talk a little bit about the kinds of donors, the kind of individual donors who could likely take advantage of something like this. The Sunlight Foundation has identified some of them. They've said, you know, they had the Bechtel Corporation and others. They've identified some people they think are most likely big spenders. Who are these big spenders and in your view, are they looking for for their money? Well, I think what they're looking for, Joy, is they're looking to have more influence in the political process that, you know, normal people like you and I have.